Could a single disease wipe out all of humanity? At first glance, this seems very plausible. But in order for this to happen, there has been a number of factors all working together to bring about this result. Firstly, the disease has to have a very high mortality rate. Here, we're not just talking about something like Ebola, which generally has a mortality rate about 50%. Instead, the disease has to kill nearly 100% of its victims. And even diseases like AIDS, anthrax and smallpox, which, left untreated, only have a maximum mortality rate around about 95%. It still would leave a population behind of over 350 million people. And whilst there would be massive disruption to society, it would eventually recover, and might actually, as a consequence, be less vulnerable to man-made ecological disaster as a result. There are, however, a couple of diseases in existence that have nearly a 100% mortality rate if left untreated. But these from being bitten by insects, which inhabit a very localised region, or by drinking contaminated water, so they couldn't infect a global population. One of the reasons most diseases are unlikely to kill a high proportion of a host is that all humans that are alike are also very different. We have different DNA, we have different reactions to infection, we have different immunities due to past histories of infections, and rather significantly we live in different climatic regions, making it all very difficult for normal diseases to transfer to different places. The next major issue is transmission. A normal infectious disease that rapidly kills off its host makes transmission to a new host rather difficult, especially if basic hygiene systems are put in place. Diseases in general can be highly lethal or highly contagious, but rarely both. So whilst a lethal disease on this scale is virtually impossible naturally, in theory, it might be possible for some person in a laboratory to come up with something like, say, a highly mutated form of septicemic plague. This could theoretically be nearly 100% lethal and get around the transmission issue by using rats and other small mammals to carry fleas infected with the disease all around the world. However, this does present another problem in killing off the entire human race. That whilst infected animals could, if unchecked, spread around the planet and potentially affect everybody, it could also take them quite a time for this to do this. And given enough time and a serious enough perceived threat, people would step, take steps from ranging from quarantine, especially on islands, to extermination of the carriers. This might mean that regions of the planet lose all of the human inhabitants, but the human population as a whole would again survive. All these scenarios, of course, assume that the pharmaceuticals industry is powerless to treat or stop the spread of the infection, and this is highly unlikely. There are many deadly diseases in the world, and these still exist not because it's impossible to find a cure or a treatment. Instead, the financial incentives for coming up with a cure don't exist. No company is going to spend £400 million researching to develop a cure only to be paid £40 million in the treatment. However, the possibility of such a global threatening disease would rapidly bring all of the industry experts plus governments and university facilities to bear upon the problem. So could a single disease wipe out humanity? No. Given a highly unlikely set of events, it could put us vulnerable to the situation where other circumstances lead on to wiping us out.